Good day, your highnesses. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make my specialized can of fudge. So we have here the star of our show, our semi-sweet and milk chocolate chips, as that's all I had left available in my cupboard without going into my calabar. And we have the star of our show, our weed butter at 4,200 milligrams. And we also have do, 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 two 400 milligram capsules that we're gonna squeeze into that bad boy as well, just to dose it up a bit. And away we go. Alrighty, so how we start the sucker is with one third a cup of butter. Now you can go as low as two tablespoons if you wish. You can use a quarter cup. You can use however much you want. If you wanna keep this out in the open air, then you need to use less butter. I always keep my fudge in the fridge. I like mine cold, so I don't mind adding a little bit of extra butter because it's gonna stay solid anyways. But that's my personal preference. I also like a better kick. With just the butter alone, working it out, I, we worked, I worked it out to about 78 milligrams per piece if I slice it out approximately based on a four by four basis. So it should be that, it should be about 78, but we're gonna add in the two additional capsules for an 800 milligram boost. So that should hopefully, you know, give it a decent boost and I'll do the math on that a bit later. So right now, just show you, I've got it on low and I'm just gonna let it very, very slowly melt here and get up to a liquidy temperature. And then we'll slowly raise it as we start adding in other ingredients. All right, so our butter is nicely melted. So we are now going to take our little capsules here and attempt hopefully to not spill them everywhere. Unsuccessfully. <laughs> hey, part of baking is getting messy. So I'm gonna squeeze out as much as I can. These are purely for me. I'm not giving these out for anybody else. So if my fi gooey fingers get all over them, I honestly don't care. All right. I'm trying to do this with already gooey fingers. Ha ha, that worked a lot better. There we go. Yeah, working with already gooey fingers, not so good. So you squeeze that all in. Give us a quick pause. All right, and we're back. So now we have it added onto here. So you should be able to see that it's a lot darker now than what it was before. So I'm just gonna stir it into the butter. And I'm gonna take what I forgot to show in the first one. <laughs> first shot, the condensed milk. Kind of your key ingredient in making fudge. And I like to add this second. Some recipes say to add it after the chips to each their own. You do it however you want. You don't have to eat this. Not your cooking. You don't have to worry about it. Get that all nice and in there as much as possible. Waste not, want not. So that way I'm able to quickly wash my hands in between, at least give them a nice good rinse. But I did make sure to thoroughly wash off. As you can see, I have none of the uh, distillate tablet left on my fingers. Although, oh my goodness, that stuff is harsh tasting. Not very pleasant. So you can see I'm stirring this gently. You don't want to be too vigorous with it because you want it to meld in nicely together and it takes a little bit of time to do so. Of course, I've got this on low heat as well. So this is going to take a little bit longer to infuse. And to start melting things down. I am pretty happy with the consistency. Which that is mixed right now because it is very oily. As you see, there's a lot of butter. So I'm gonna add my two cups of chocolate chips. I'm gonna stir this up. And I will show you this once it's all melted in. Okay, so our fudge is almost done. I'm not sure if I mentioned I used exactly two cups of chocolate, but I used two cups specifically. You can use whatever kind of chocolate you want. You can even use butterscotch chips. 
That's the great thing about chippets. You can use anything and everything. Although I do not necessarily like the caramel salted chippets. I don't know if you got, any of you guys have tried that one. Not very good. Do not recommend with a can of butter. Do not do it. Trust me. So you see the nice consistency. We've got a nice, thick, smooth, velvety consistency. This is what you want. This is where you want to get it. And once you get it to about this point here, so it's nice and done, you want to pull it off of the heat, take your pre-measured teaspoon and dump it in. And quickly stir that in. And you don't want to be harsh on it. You want to gently stir as such. And try and keep this away from the heat, but at the same time, vanilla adds such a nice, beautiful flavor, especially with the cannabis and the chocolate. I lick my stuff to be kick butt. I have a very high tolerance myself. So you can do whatever milligram dosage you want on this. You can make yours however you want. You don't have to follow mine. There are tons and tons of recipes on the internet, guys. There's tons of things you can do differently. But for those who are visual learners, I hope this is at least helping you guys out a little bit. And you take the clutch, the pre organized parchment paper. You can also butter it if you want. I'm using a 9 by 9 as my 8 by 8 is currently occupied based on my roommate's non-cannabis cooking. Get everything you can off of that bad boy. Pot nibblings. Yeah, more ways than one. Alright, you want to just get this spread out. It is a little bit more difficult with the parchment paper. I'm not going to deny this factor, people. But I personally find the cleanup to be tremendously easier. So for a little bit of hassle, I'll do it. Plus, because this has so much butter in it, it's much easier to spread. In your average fudge. Okay, so this, remember, you do not want to keep this out after you have it solid for very long because it will start to go melty melty from all the butter and it will leave a stain so do not place it on any fabric. So whatever you do, like if you put it on a napkin and you put it down in your couch studio, don't do that. Don't do that. Put like a piece of saran wrap underneath to catch the oils because trust me, this stuff is thick of butter. For those of you who love your butter flavor, I used actually a salted butter myself. That way I don't have to add salt on top of the fudge. Some people like to do that. I've seen it in different things. You can do whatever you want to it. There we go. So now we have our beautiful fudge all nice and spread out there. And then, just because I feel fancy as fuck and I can do so, I'm gonna take these beautiful edible stars. <laughs> I've had these sitting around for a while. I've been waiting to use them on something. And why not? It's my fudge and I'll sparkle them if I want to. Into those corners, otherwise it's just not as fabulous. Little dumping of sprinkles. I don't care. So technically they're edible glitter, but still. So there you have it. Our fudge is now set and ready to go. We'll wait a few hours and I will show you what it looks like once it's ready to be cut. And voila, finished fudge. All in one piece, all nice and together, all sparkly and magic. Hope you guys enjoyed.